My name is Amanda and I have been through uh, STNA for about 20 years. I am 38 years old. I have a family. I have a law background. I have <laughs> a business background. I have just about every type of job background that you can think of, customer service, sales, um, the service industry, retail. I've done it all. And the thing that struck me the most was I wanted to be a nurse and help serve people and take care of people. That's what I want to do. You have to have a love for the field. You have to have a love for people. Sometimes, you know, you come across people that are a little complicated or set in their ways or just, you know, they, they have a lot of things going on. So, and they miss their family and you're their family. You're there with them through every holiday, every dinner, every lunch, every breakfast. There's some people that need fed. There's people's families that live out of state. So you are their family. So you have to be compassionate. And the foundation of nursing comes from being an STNA. We don't quite get to pass medicine or do anything like that, but you learn compassion, you learn love, you learn how to do a job and how to take care of people and be there for them. And that's the most important because besides nurses, we also, STNAs do a lot of the work with the elderly in a nursing home. So um, it just ranges from different things. I, this is the foundation that I've worked for for so long to become a nurse. So that's gonna be super helpful helpful when I am a nurse. I did research different colleges and what I really liked about Honduras was the cost. The program itinerary was awesome. I love that they have critical labs. They have things that we can do our clinicals in and we do um, just hands-on work. That's important to me. You can't be a nurse without hands-on work. You always have to learn how to juggle. So um, to juggle school and juggle three children who are in high school and a husband and a home, it's, it's not that hard. You just have to prioritize and be good with time management. So I'm used to that. You have to understand, you have to invest in yourself to invest in education to be worth it. So you have to make those things, you know, worth a priority because that's when I graduate and I'm gonna be a nurse, it's gonna be valuable to me. It is Nurses Week and nurses are a huge, huge importance in today's world. Whether it's in a hospital, a clinic, or a nursing home, or any type of health setting that includes nurses. Nurses are the backbones to doctors. They go in, they treat, um, they give pain meds. They're there with that patient as well as other staff. Um, their main priority is taking care of people. When you go to a hospital or you go to um, an urgent care or somewhere you need immediate help, a nurse is the first one to help you. So nurses are very vital and very important. Um, they help get through everything. So to me, nurses are like unsung heroes. They literally wear capes and they go to work every day and they put themselves at risk, they put their families at risk, but they do it because they love people and they want to help take care of people.